Hello and welcome to Brawl News. I'm your host, the Brawl News Guy. They, uh, gave me the job because of my devilishly good looks. For today's story, Night Witch Mortis was recently hospitalized due to a quarrel that he had with some of his other Mortis friends. Apparently, he was caught teaming in Showdown and was thrown out of a window by No Hat Mortis. If you ask me, he got what he deserved. Hello fellow Brawlers, I'm Carol Stein, and it is time for another Brawl News segment. That's right, this is Brawl News, the most responsible Brawl News source on uh, the Brawler net. Also, the most accurate, sometimes. Most accurate, sometimes. Okay guys, we've got a lot of exciting stuff here. It looks like Brawl Stars is actually getting somewhat of a massive update somewhere here in the near future, and it is actually up to us to figure out what's coming. Yesterday, there were actually several Portuguese Brawl Stars channels that released videos with some sort of hint regarding what's coming in this next future update. Basically, what happened within each of the videos is they open up a box with two things inside of it. One was a neon light that was actually uh, made of the Brawl Stars logo. The second was a written hint of what was coming with uh, the hint hashtag Enigma Brawl. Now, an Enigma is some sort of like a mysterious thing. Typically, it's like a puzzle or like something that's not fully understood that's really difficult to solve. And trust me, guys, this one really is gonna be a tricky one. Now I'll actually post a link below to a Reddit post with um, all of the clo clues like put into one little thing, but it was all really vague, referencing a lot of 60s styles diner type things, such as like neon lights, diners, uh, jukeboxes, mini skirts and leather boots for women, and then jackets and jeans for men. Props to my good friend Gustavo for uh, helping me understand what they were talking about. I don't understand Port Portuguese, so it was kind of confusing. If you guys speak Portuguese, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to him. Now, additionally, each of the YouTubers were given a QR code that if they scanned it would actually play this video titled with several question marks. As you can see, it's just Colt flying in a minecart and landing into what appears to be Bull's Diner. Uh, it plays several times and I've actually analyzed every frame of this video and nothing really stands out to me as being a special sneak peek. Now when I pair the hint from this actual video uh, along with the hints that are actually posted by some of the Portuguese Brawl Stars YouTubers, it's obvious that they're hinting towards uh, some sort of 60s diners theme. Now all of this could really mean a lot of different things, okay? So it could be some sort of a reference towards a special Brawl Stars event that's going to be coming here in the very near fu near future. It could also be a set of like new skins that are going to be coming that would fit like the 60s diner theme. I'm I'm thinking specifically like you know, Rockabilly Mortis. Honestly though, I really think that it's going to be much bigger than those, either of those ideas. Okay, when I think of Brawl Stars and what it really needs, some things that are missing, quite a few ideas really pop into my mind that would actually fit along this type of thing. The first thing that really comes to mind is an actual reason to be a part of a club and to actually like interact with other players. A couple of the clues actually refer to people hanging out in diners, which is a, a very social place. But what if it was actually referring to an actual room that you could go and hang out with other brawlers that are either in your club or you could actually interact with each other and maybe even interact with various different types of events. Another idea that comes to my mind is some sort of a themed story mode that it would actually act for a more thorough tutorial for new players. You guys know how bad I think the the tutorial is and how it really needs to be revamped, guys. This is my best speculation that I could come up with, but I really want to know what you guys think this is actually hinting toward. Maybe even a slick back hairstyle for Colt's newest skin. But when I got word of this, I started doing a little bit more research into the Brawl Stars media to see if there were any other clues uh, that could point me in the right direction for this video. I actually came across this Twitter post that uh, you gotta check out. Basically, we got Frank over here searching through some vinyl records, and vinyl records actually became a thing in the 70s, which isn't actually too late to go along with that diner's theme. Now, these records are obviously puns referring to actual musicians like Tara Swift, the Red Hot Chili Pipers, Spike Girls. Yeah, you uh, get the idea. However, there's one album that really caught my eye. This Simon and Carl Funkel album right here. Now this looks like a picture of Brock, obviously. Like obviously we've got Carl there and then we got Brock and it's a it's a pun on Simon and Carl, Carl, 
Carfunkel? Wow, I can't even say it right. It's Carl Funkel now. But it made me think if what if this is actually a new brawler being added to the game? I mean, Rosa was recently added and she looks like she's somehow related to Shelly. We know that Jesse and Pam are related and there are other similarly themed brawlers such as like Barley and Rico. The question that I have is what if Simon is actually Brock's brother and we're getting a first look into what the newest brawler is actually going to be? Okay, now I'll admit this might be a little bit of a stretch, but it would be cool if they had actually started teasing a brawl, the newest brawler coming to the game this early. Now, all these clues came through Portuguese YouTubers, and I find it very interesting or, or strange that it was one specific population that this was actually coming through. And I would not be surprised if we started to see some more sneak peeks from other YouTubers that represent various other nationalities. We could very well start seeing some more sneak peeks from Spanish YouTubers or maybe Asian or German YouTubers. And of course, English YouTubers. No matter what happens, make sure you guys subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you do not miss out any official information as soon as I'm able to give that to you. In other news, Frank, the lead on the Brawl Stars team, recently tweeted out by saying that if you have over 10,000 trophies, you represent 0.2% of all of the active players on Brawl Stars. Personally, I found that really interesting, so I ran a quick poll on my channel to see where my viewers actually land in comparison to all of the players in the game. But this poll actually revealed 8% of people watching my channel being above 10,000 trophies, with the vast majority being below 4,000. So if you're watching YouTube videos on Brawl Stars over on my channel and you're subscribed, chances are you are an above average player. But remember, even if you watch every video, that does not make you automatically a better player. That's right, Lady Kairos. I'm talking to you. You may be curious to know that the competitive scene for Brawl Stars is developing quite well. There are several different types of tournaments that are going on, but the one that seems to be getting the most traction and seems to be the most official is the Brawl Stars North American Open hosted by Skillshot. They also lowered the age requirement to compete from 18 years down to 16 years of age so that more people would actually be able to compete. There are more spots available for upcoming weeks of the event and there are several prizes to be won. So if you're interested in participating, you can get a group of friends to compete with you for all of those extra monies. Recently, some players in the Brawl Stars scene have made reports of Brawl Stars accounts being banned. As a reminder to keep your account safe from getting banned, make sure you're not doing any of the following things. Use inappropriate language even if your club actually has a rule that allows for it you may still get banned for this sharing your account with others so that you can push it easier now we're not talking about like just handing your phone to somebody and letting them like play a few matches or anything like that we're talking about actually giving your like login information to somebody else so that they can log in and uh, play it for you purchasing large amounts of gems and then asking for a refund on the gems through the play store is also a bannable offense supercell has also been known to ban people for using third-party software to uh, that allows you to cheat in the game with bots or hacks, impersonating Supercell staff, ruining other people's game experience by doing things like self-scoring in Brawl Ball, or even encouraging other people to break the rules. If you have any more questions, you can refer to Supercell's safe and fair play rules on their website. Okay guys, so we know that an update is right around the corner and Supercell seems to be leaking some uh, features through various social means. They haven't done anything like this for an update in Brawl Stars. Um other than like when the game first went into beta and then also when it first actually was released globally. So I'm really interested to see what's actually coming with this next update, especially because we haven't actually had a whole lot of like real big amounts of content in the most recent updates. You know, we've been getting them like really, really close back to back, but like, I'm curious to see what's gonna happen. And I really want to know what you guys think about this. I can almost guarantee you somebody is gonna go ahead and read that Reddit post with all of the, the sneaks and the leaks that are being posted by all these Brawl Stars YouTubers. And somebody's gonna come up with some, some idea that is actually going to be true. I can almost guarantee it. So put your comments in the section below, letting me know what you think is going to be happening with this update. Also, let me know what you would like to come in the next update personally. I'm really hoping for some more social features to make clubs a little bit more engaging. I'm also looking for some more replayable end game content, including more complexity to Brawler's abilities. I've already talked about that. Uh, and also I'm really hoping for the meta to be like totally shaken up 
with some balance changes, I would really, really appreciate that supercell. I still don't actually know exactly what's coming in the update, nor do I know when it's going to happen, though if they're leaking things now, my guess is it's going to happen at least within the next couple of weeks. So as soon as I'm given the dev build and I'm allowed to actually give you guys some sneak peeks, I will definitely be dropping that to you. So once again, make sure you subscribe so you do not miss it. Hope you enjoyed the video. For now, this is Kairos Time ticking by and we will see you in Brawl Stars. Thank you.